everyone, it's Garrison here, and welcome back to the channel. And today, hopefully, you're having a good, fine, and dandy day so far. I am on this day of filming this, but the last couple of days, not gonna lie, it's been very challenging and difficult, uh, honestly, to say the very least. But I'm hanging in there, the very least. And I am excited today because I'll be actually checking out with y'all Le Seraphim's Highlight Medley for Unforgiven, their upcoming era. Not only coming through with a legend, a living legend here, Nile Rogers, but also a first full blown studio album. Can we just appreciate this? kind of significant achievement i gotta say in my humblest opinion for any group or solo artist to come through with their full album is a huge achievement especially la seraphim to do it so early on in their careers and the fact that every single release has been hidden nothing has been missing nothing has been a no skip for me and i'm sure that's going to continue here with this brand new era of unforgiven so familiar names across the track listing sure in-house producers at hive yada 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 but also names that i've seen that worked with le seraphim in the past before and other significant groups artists and idols additionally i would like to add on that i've been really hyped off of the concept teaser picks that are going on for the each and every respective version of the physical album and all especially the latest ones that have been coming uh, out the likes of Yunjin and Zhuha together thank you for being my ballet to my opera if you know you know Kura and of course Chewon and the one big overalls and uh such i've been really enjoying the teaser concept photo uh pics going on on my timeline these days but of course we have yunjin on between you and me and the lamp post not only taking part on the composing side but the lyrics as well composer lyricist yunjin back at it again we love to see it but hey enough talk without further ado let's just dive into the highlight medley now all right so brought it up here la seraphim's highlight medley for unforgiven their first studio album got it in vertical mode to honestly let's be real here it's a preview of what's gonna be truly greatness assumingly but let's go <music> I love the strumming. Burn the bridge here. A closed door, a door locked shut. Another door, slightly ajar. I open them all. I open them all. Ooh. The title track. Ooh. Oh, the strumming. Hey. Oh, you know the title track's gonna go hard in the paint. Oh, no return. Into the unknown. I saw Casio Pia, yeah. Woo. I'm really loving this particular track. Very fun with it, light with the delivery. We don't dress to impress. Love the lyrics in this one. Between you, me, and the lamppost, yes. Oh my. You know this song is gonna cut deep. Oh my goodness. Flash forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Wow, that just seems like the song that's gonna intro Lenny vs. Season 3, quite possibly. Love how cheerful, yet almost anthemic Fire in the Belly is. <laughs> yes! What a fire highlight medley, everyone. Man, oh man. La Seraphim is gonna do it again and uh, surely gonna top them uh, selves. Without a doubt, gonna have to do my small group order as per usual with my other uh, friend in real life and fellow uh, Fear Not for the physical album and all be sure to do so ahead of time go i i don't know about you guys but what works for me the best is k-town for you fan club section get an additional discount you know how these days shipping is so expensive or just k-pop in in general but uh man oh man unforgiven where to even begin you know for this highlight medley i gotta say i can totally sense the influence the likes of casiopeia uh, Ob for the the one track uh, that he was on, if I'm not mistaken, that one uh, track. I don't want to really spoil uh, who they've worked in the past before. I did talk about them in past album reviews and, and with La Seraphim in the past before, uh, of course. But I gotta say, No Return into the Unknown really stood out to me out of the bunch right like i think it's probably gonna be one of my top three echelon uh b-sides i gotta say but between you and me and the lamppost is probably gonna be a song that i'm gonna be such a sucker for songs that really move me em uh, emotionally and like take that sentimental yearning kind of route in terms of the vocal delivery you know what i'm uh, saying and uh if you guys are familiar when it comes to my musical taste i do lean towards more so those tracks that do it but not in the most conventional way per se okay it was that moment right there this one track is is quite interesting i think the lyricism is there meaningful lyrics of course Let's be real here, a lot of La Seraphim's uh, music is super duper meaningful and uh, I, I, it, it, a lot, I know some people are saying the previous release, the whole mini album was not cohesive, but in my humblest opinion, that era was quite cohesive with it coming through with different messages for each and every single uh, B-side, including Anti-Fragile. <laughs> But man, I'm spoiling myself too much. But between you and me and the lamppost is that other significant one. Flash forward, though. Flash forward really caught me off guard and got me thinking, huh, is this going to be that track to introduce the new season of Lennyverse to be the intro and outro? Quite possibly it can be. I love the playful vocal delivery in that particular song. Fire in the Belly seems very rambunctious, let loose. Love the Bongo Congo, like drum kit life work. Percussion was really well done in this track. And just when we thought we were were overspoiled, we got uh, spoiled even more at the end there in the last couple of seconds. Man, oh man. This might be uh, yet again another album of the year. And usually when I say something like that or have a good gut, a gut feeling, it ends up being the case. Every time that I say that on the channel here, guys, mark my words and I can't wait for their comeback, okay? Mark your calendars, okay? May 1st and all. Pre-order if you can. Be sure to do so. If you're on the fence, don't be on the fence. Go for it. Just do it. You're not going to have any regrets at all. And I'm sure... 
this whole era is going to be super meaningful, not only on a Sonic standpoint, but message wise yet again. So uh, stay tuned, everyone. If you guys haven't seen my coverage and reactions to Lennyverse, be sure to do so. It's all on the channel here. Later on, I will definitely drop my reaction to their special Lennyverse episode involving Samyupsal and all and Juha's first ever time experiencing and having Samyup uh, Sal or you know getting the whole experience in with all the members while reflecting the previous episodes of Lennyverse. Stay tuned, more La Seraphim content on the way of course as their comeback approaches and such. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Be sure to do so as it goes a long way, helps out the channel, can't reiterate that enough. And just once more connecting with fellow beer knots in the comment section down below. Take care. This has been Garrison and peace.